Hello, in this session we will look at how you can make use of your Terraform modules using GitHub. So in the last session we have looked at the different options that are available to store our Terraform module code and then we can uh, download that and start using that to create our infrastructure. So in the last session we looked at your local paths where the module was available on the local machine itself and then we were uh, using that in your child module by using the local path. Now Terraform supports a variety of options that can be used uh, to define the remote module path. So in this session we will look at how you can make use of your remote path that is uh, we can store our module code in a remote location and then we can uh, ask Terraform to download that and use that code to set up our infrastructure. So GitHub is one such option that we have. Now Terraform will recognize unprefixed github.com URLs and interpret them automatically as Git repository sources. That is, we can store our module code or our root module code in GitHub repository. And then we can tell Terraform to download the code from the GitHub repositories and use that to create the infrastructure for us. Now sure is an example of how we can define the source and point it to the github url so we can make use of this github.com and then your repo basically where the uh, root module code is available now the above source uh, address that we have defined this will clone and download the source code over https so uh, your github supports https and ssh as well now if you want to download the source code over https then we can go with this format so we can give github.com then your uh, username or your repository where your root module is available now if you want to clone and download the uh, source code over ssh you can do that also for that you can make use of this format so git at github.com colon your repo basically where the root module code is available uh, in our example we will be looking at uh, using the https now these github schemes are uh, treated as convenient aliases for the general git repository address tree and so they obtain credentials in the same way and support the ref argument for selecting specific revision so we also have the option of specifying a, a specific revision maybe you want to download a specific commit changes we can make use of this ref argument for that as well. Now you will need to configure credentials in particular to access the private repository. So generally at an organization level, we will end up working with private repositories. Uh, so before we start working with this, you will need to set up your credentials so that your Terraform will be able to use that credentials to download the source code from your GitHub repository. So let's see an example for this. So sure, I have my uh, root module. So I have the locals, the main where my resource blocks is defined, the provider block, uh, variable values, and my variables. Now we are going to call this. So this becomes my parent module or my root module. And we are going to call this module code in my um, uh, child module. So for the sake of understanding, I'm calling this as GitHub module. Now in the GitHub module, I have defined my backend as to where I want to store my uh, state file. So we are storing this in an S3 bucket. I'm using S3 as my backend. And then I have my main.tf. We look at that in some time. I have the terraform.tfrs where all my variable values are defined. And this is where my variables are defined. Now, if you look at the main.tf, now this is same as what we had used in the local parts. The only change you're going to see here is the source. All right, so in this case, it is pointing to a GitHub remote path. All right, so in the last session, we had we were using the dot slash or the dot dot slash, which is basically on the local path. Now, what we're doing here is we are using a remote path. So we are telling Terraform that my code, the parent module, is available in this path clone and download the source code from this path and use that code to create my infrastructure by using these input variables. All right, so this will clone and download the source code over HTTPS. All right, so let's see an example for this. So here I've created this child module. All right, so 
So I want to basically use the module that we have here in my GitHub. So this is my root module or my parent module. So I want to use this on my child module that is on my um, uh, Terraform. Now in the last session what we did was we had our parent module available on the local machine itself. Now because we're using the re remote path, we don't have to basically uh, have these files on my local machine. Rather, we are going to clone and download this source code. So for that, we, this is what we are going to use. So first, I'll define quickly my backend. So backend is basically where I want to store my state file. So let's go to this child module and let me create this backend.tf file. Then we will define our main.tf. So main.tf is where we are defining the source as to where the source code, the Terraform module, the parent module is available. So let me create this. So here I'm telling this is where the root, mo root module or the parent module is available and download the source code from there. Let's save this. Then we will define our variables. So here I have the Terraform.tf bars where all my variable values are defined. Okay, so these are my values and then we will have our variable names just this one all right so now my child module is ready okay so this is the main thing as to where the source code is available. So now let's quickly initialize this. Now when we initialize this, what will happen is Terraform will read this source path, the remote path, and it will download the source code from that path. So we're using S3 as our backend, and here you can see this initializing modules and downloading. So by default, this is using the HTTPS. So it went to that module, and whatever the code we have now it has downloaded that into my local machine or in this dot terraform folder so let's go and quickly have a look at this so under modules if we go to this child module example and uh, here so basically what this will do is all the code that we have in the github it will clone and download the entire uh, repo all right now what i have done here is i'm maintaining different different folder structures so basically i have the entire repository so now if i go to the modules folder inside the modules uh, in my root module so here i should be able to see the entire code that i had in my github so basically now github has cloned and downloaded this source code to my local machine and now i can use that to create my infra so we have initialized this let's quickly generate a plan and this will show that it's going to create four resources for us so you can see four to add and if we apply this this will start creating the four resources for us so this is how we can make use of your github to clone and download the source code and use that to create our infrastructure. So once again, your Terraform model is simply uh, making your code reusable and that is what we are doing over here. In this case, we're using a remote path. That is, uh, we have the source code uh, available in a remote location, which is GitHub in this case. And we are using that remote path to tell Terraform that download the clone and download the source code from this location and use that to create our infrastructure. So this is a general practice that we follow at an organization level. We always store the source code in a remote location. We don't store it on the um, uh, local machine. Um, there are lots of options available, we have all, which we have already discussed. You can use whatever the option you're comfortable with. So in this session, we have looked at how you can use the GitHub to uh, clone and download the source code. 
in the next session i will be showing you how you can use s3 buckets to do the same thing that is we can store our source code in the s3 bucket and then we can tell terraform to download the uh, source code from s3 bucket and use that to create the infrastructure that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video